Hi, Susie Seller. Thank you so much for coming in today, uh, 15 minutes early before the other agents come in to present their offers. I just wanted to uh, take a little time to explain the process and what you can expect today. Okay. Uh, we do have three offers coming in, so oh. we are in a multiple offer situation. Um, is that a good thing? That's a great thing. Okay. So it's usually, that means that your house will probably sell for more than asking price. Okay. Um, the agents will come in, they will present their offers. Uh, some may get very detailed on their buyers and, their, and how much the buyers like the house. Some offers may come in and they might be just about you know, the merits of the offer. Um, there will be things that will be discussed as far as contingencies. So it's not just price, it's price and terms. Okay. So it could be one comes in cash and they want to close in 30 days. It could be something comes in and it's mortgage and they need 60 or 65 days to close. Uh, some might be pre-qualified through a lender. Some might have a full mortgage uh, pre-approval. So each offer will, will be different based on the merits of the offer. Okay. And what we're going to do is have each agent come in and give their offer, discuss their clients with you. If you have any questions about the offer or their, their buyers, feel free to ask them during the offer process. Oh, good. Okay. Then when we get all done, we're going to uh, excuse all of them to sit down and wait for us in the conference room for a few minutes while we discuss each offer and which offer would be really best for you. Okay, perfect. Okay? Yeah. Do you have any questions for me at this point? I don't. I'm just so glad you're okay. here because I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, good. Okay, all good. right. Well, we'll make sure that we get, we get the right offer for you. Perfect. Thank Great. you so much. Thank you. Okay, let's go. Uh, hi, um, this is our first agent. This is Cash King. Cash, this is Susie Seller. Hi, nice Susie, to meet nice you. Susie, nice to meet you. Lucky. Hi. Good Thank to you. see you yeah, again. Yeah, how are yeah. you? We go way back. Way. We've done way a few back. deals before, and it's like, uh, they've always worked out good, haven't they, Lucky? Yeah, they sure have. But uh, I want to thank you for going ahead and letting me present today and everything. I know Thanks that, for coming in. Well, thank you. Thank you. You don't mind if I smoke, do you? No, no, no. Okay. Feel free. Go to Good. Good. I put it out out there because I, I didn't know if you'd let me or not. But I just wanted to tell you, my guy really likes your place. It's really nice. And it's like, uh, we'd like to go ahead. And I know you want to get right to the bottom line. And, and Lucky here knows that we usually just pay cash for all of our deals. So... It is, uh, what we'd like to do is get right to the bottom of the thing here, and it's like, we know that you've had it on the market here for about, uh, I don't know, two, three weeks or something here, and uh, normally cash is king, and I'm sure Lucky will go ahead and explain that to you, and I see there's a couple other people out there waiting and everything, but the whole thing is, is uh, we've got a contract here that we'd like to go ahead and uh, present, and I know that uh, the property and stuff is on the market, uh, for two hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars here, um, my guy's willing to go ahead and give you two hundred and twenty thousand dollars cash. Uh, we're willing to go ahead and put down twenty-five thousand dollars, a good earnest amount there and stuff. Uh, Lucky will certainly explain that to you there, and we'll close in thirty days, forty days, fifty days, whatever is best for you. And it's like there's going to be no home inspection which we're gonna waiver that. We've gone through it thoroughly and my guy normally just goes through and he knows what he's getting there and stuff. So you won't have any banks coming in. There'll be no appraisals. Uh, you don't have to worry about the lead-based paint or anything there that's kind of appealing. Uh, we don't care that there's not a railing on the back doorstep or anything like that. We're taking it just as it is. And it's like, and you can walk away and we'll close any day you want there. Okay. 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 Can I ask you about, oh sorry, no, you didn't do it. To interrupt. Can I ask you about the buyers? Yeah. My guy, he's a, he buys a house once a year. And he goes ahead and it's like, I think he may want to put his daughter in this one here and stuff. Mm -hmm. But the whole thing is, is he goes in, he does a little remodeling and stuff. Your place is beautiful and stuff. But he was thinking that mall bathroom, he might go ahead and redo that and upgrade it and stuff. It's pretty. It's I'm pretty. so surprised. It's such a perfect color. Granted, the toilet leaks, I'm sure he's well aware. We did see a little bit a little around that bottom of the toilet Easy there fix. and stuff. But, uh, but that mob is beautiful. I like the mob myself. And I mean, I might even be able to talk him into just going ahead and keeping that. So we don't know who's going to be living there? Is that what you're telling me? Right now, I think, you know, he's got to do something for his daughter. So the whole thing is, is I think, you know, he may move his daughter in there. But the whole thing is, is he's going to make it nice. And it's going to make it easy for you and convenient to go ahead and, and, and get your money. And I know that you're relocating there. Mm -hmm. Lucky you told me that. 
But uh, we'd really like to buy your house, and if there's anything we could do or anything I can answer, I'd certainly like to, you know, have the opportunity to meet with you again. And, and I'm going to hang out outside there and stuff while you guys talk okay. about it. Okay. This. And Cash, I do see that you do have proof of funds in here, and it is a current statement yes. from a local bank he's uh, got showing money. that he's got the money on hand. So okay. that's very important to know that, um, Good. Okay. that he can prove what he has. It's a very as interesting as well. offer. All right. Thank, thank you, you very much. so much. All right. Okay, thanks, thank Cash. you, Lucky. Yeah. Okay. Nice to see you again. See you. Hi, Susie. Hi. Uh, the next um, buyer's agent should be coming okay. in. It's going to be Cassie Conventional, and she'll be coming in shortly. Oh, come oh, on in, Cassie. Cassie. Hi. Hi, I'm Cassie Conventional. Hi, Susie. Nice Seller. to Pleasure meet you. Pleasure to meet you, Lucky Listening Agent. Hi, nice oh, to see you again. Nice to see you again. I'm going to tell you a little bit about my customers okay. and why we love your home so much. First of all, we're a young family. We have um, Bobby, Barbie, and baby Bonnie. Oh. Um, we're coming out of an apartment. We live okay. right around the corner. Our family is right around the corner as well, and this is the perfect fit for us. We walked in, we had looked at other homes, but we walked in, the minute we walked into your foyer, we knew this is for us. We have the fenced backyard, eventually we'll mm -hmm. wanna have an animal, but your floors are so beautiful, we really don't want to change too much. We don't want to, we don't want to ruin them. We loved everything about your home. Okay. Let me tell you a little bit about our financing. Yes, please. We're a conventional mortgage. Um, your asking price for your house was $225,000. We love it so well, we're going to offer you $235,000. Oh, okay. We're going to, um, after home inspection and attorney approval, um, we're going to give you a $10,000 earnest money deposit on this we love it so well. Um, we're going to finance, we're going to put 5% down as we finance. We have some monies available to us to close at the end. Um, what else can I tell you about us? Home inspection. Mm -hmm. They've already, already been briefed on it. They know we're only going to address health or safety issues. Okay. There's truly nothing we want to change right now in this house. Okay. Um, we want to grow eventually, uh, have another child perhaps. The baby is eight months old. Backyard is fenced. We are looking for many years of enjoyment in your home. Okay. Um, standard 60-day closing. Okay. If we can do it faster, we will. Okay. If you'll notice, our approval is a prequel, not a, not a full mm -hmm, pre-approval. Mm -hmm. We will get you a full pre-approval. We just, when we saw this, we wanted to get our offer to you as fast as we could. We will provide you with okay. that. Do you have any questions for us? The only question I have, you mentioned loving the property. What, what makes you love this one so much more than the rest? It's that feeling we got when we walked in the front door. The minute we walked in, we all looked at each other and we knew this was the one. We've done our due diligence. We looked around, this is the home for us. Hmm. We love the schools, we love the neighborhood, we want to raise our family here. Okay. We hope you'll consider our offer. Well, we, we will definitely talk about it. And, uh, it's a very good yeah, offer. It's a very good offer. Thank you. Thank yeah. you so much for the opportunity. And I love your outfit. Well, thank you. <laughs> it's nice thank to you, meet Susie. you. Thank you, Lucky. Oh, a pleasure to see you, you again. Again. If you could just have a seat out there with Cash. Do I have uh, to sit with him? Uh, yeah, just ask him to stop smoking. It's a public place. <laughs> Susie, we have one more buyer's agent to come in. It's Escalating okay. Eric, and he'll be coming in shortly to uh, present the last offer that okay, we have perfect. to listen to. Good. Come on in, Escalating. Hi, thanks Escalating, for Escalating, this me. is Susie Seller. Hi. Thanks, Very nice to meet you. Hi. How are you again? Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Here's a copy of my offer. Okay, thank you so much. My buyers love your house. They think it's terrific. They're relocating in from Wyoming, and he's going to be working at the glue factory. He's going to be the manager there. They hired him in. He had been working in Wyoming at the horse farm, and he supplied the horses to the glue factory. Oh, dear. No, he was, he was just one of the range guys managing that part okay. of it. Okay. And uh, now, now he's going to be running the glue factory. Okay. I guess he probably did a good job with the horses. He's relocating in here in about 45 to 60 days. Mm -hmm. So he really needs some housing. Okay. He's got a wife and he has two kids, ages three and six. Okay. And they, they really like your house. And we know you're asking 225, they like it so much they're willing to offer $7,000 over asking. So 
our offer is at two hundred and thirty-two thousand dollars. Okay. Uh, they're putting a five thousand dollar earnest money deposit, and they're going to be putting down eleven thousand six hundred dollars as a down payment for the bank. Okay. They uh, they are pre-approved from M and Fee Bank in the amount of uh, the mortgage amount minus the eleven thousand six hundred dollars. Okay. So, but they're pre-approved, which is better than being pre qual He uh, he is coming in with an FHA mortgage uh, because he had a couple glitches because he works all the time. He had a couple glitches on his credit, but that's been overcome because the, he has a pre-approval now from M and Fee Bank. Okay. So there's no guesswork out. It's not like a pre qual So he's a very strong buyer. He's looking to close in about 65 days. He'd close sooner if they'll let him, but I think the bank is going to take that long with some of the new Dodd Frank laws. The, the next really nice part about this offer is he feels so strongly about the house that he's submitting what they call an escalation clause. And he's willing to pay $1,000 over the next highest offer. I'm not sure I understand what that means. So if you get a higher offer, he'll top that offer by a thousand dollars up to two hundred and forty thousand dollars because he's approved up to that he's, much? he is pre-approved up to that much okay so your pre-approval letter does say it, sale price at 240 yes sale price mortgage amount up to 240 okay so it's a very strong pre-approval and he really loves your house uh, but we can't we won't go over to the 240 but if, if any offer comes in He'll, uh, he'll beat it by a thousand dollars. Eric, if I could just ask you a question. Um, now that you are presenting the escalation clause uh, and you are willing to pay up to 240 and clearly you have a pre-approval, full pre-approval that he's um, qualified to pay that, uh, that much for the property, we have the concern that what if the house doesn't appraise? It's an FHA mortgage. So if the house appraises, for instance, if you end up getting the house for 240 and appraises for 230, is your buyer willing to come to the table with an extra ten thousand dollars to make this transaction happen and successfully close? Will he be willing to sign a, a contingency addendum that says, "Yes, I will bring that money to the table uh, as long as the house appraises somewhere between the asking price and what my end uh, offer price is"? Yes, actually, I had this discussion with my buyer, and the glue factory actually said that they would actually make up the difference. Okay. So we have okay. in writing from the glue factory that they will make up any difference okay. on an appraisal. And, and if we were to difference. accept your offer here this afternoon, would he be willing to immediately e-sign or um, yes. send over an addendum I, stating I have, that he will do that? I have that in his relocation okay. papers. Okay, excellent. Wonderful. Okay, do you have any other questions about the offer? Well, they're moving in. So my question for you is they're coming from someplace else. They're transplanting. Mm -hmm. And how many houses have they looked at? They've looked at five houses, five but they houses. love yours the best. And how many have they offered on? This is the first one. First, okay. Hmm. It sounds to me like they have a great housing need because they're relocating and don't have the... Um, Very strong buyers. Yeah. And they're pre-approved. That's okay. wonderful. It's a lot to think about. I really yeah. appreciate it. Yep. Okay. They need their housing, so they're ready to come. Okay. okay. Would you mind taking a seat with Cassie and um, Cash? And we are just going to briefly talk about uh, each offer, and then we will come out and uh, let you guys know what we've decided. Sure. Okay, Thank okay. You. great. Thank you for Thank your you time. so much. Okay. Thank you, Escalators. Thank you. Okay. Okay, Susie. So we've heard all three agents present their buyer's offers to you, uh, and they're all very very different offers yeah so the decision isn't going to be cut and dry uh, is maybe in some multiple offer situations it could be so I just want to review the offers with you if you have any questions about each offer please feel free to okay. ask me then then we'll try to figure which is the best which if can we narrow down which ones that you should uh, concentrate on or if one is just acceptable to you to offer so we have Cash King's offer, um, which is his buyer's offer, which is a cash offer. Okay. It is a non-contingent offer, and he is buying the house as is. Okay. So the only thing that you really have to do is get attorney approval. Once you get attorney approval and you got the deposit check, you know that this deal is going to closing, and you can be pretty confident that it won't fall apart. 
Because uh, there's no inspection. There's no inspection. Okay. Correct. Perfect. Uh, there's no inspection. There's no bank appraisal. So it's a twofold process. The buyer comes in with his uh, home inspector. They could ask for you to spend money on things. Um, they look. Uh, they look basically for things that are going to cause the buyer a financial hardship that they didn't know at time of offer. So uh, they may come back and say, you know, your furnace is broken. You got to fix your furnace, or you know, who who knows what. Uh, ultimately, they could give you a list of things. It's typically just. Um, safety and health issues, but it could be anything because you never know what a buyer is going to come back with uh, an inspection. They could do their home inspection, just wake up one morning and say, I didn't buy the right house, I'm canceling this transaction and move on to another one. Does that happen? So it does happen. Yep, absolutely it does happen. So with this situation, you don't have any contingencies, you know that you can put the deal to bed and it, it will probably go to closing. Okay. The next deal um, would be Cassie uh, Conventional's um, buyer's deal. They clearly are a young couple starting a family. I know it was very important to you and your family to sell it to somebody that um, will live in the house and care for the house the same way that you did, uh, and, but they're offering more money. So, I mean, uh, the cash offer was 220, they're offering 235. There's a lot more money on the table here, um, so maybe that would be a reason for you to, it's a twofold reason why you would accept their offer. However, they are asking for home inspection they will have a bank appraisal, and um, they only have a pre-qualification. So a pre-qual means that the underwriter has not seen their financial documents. The loan originator has said, yeah, you're good to go based on what the buyer has told him verbally only. Um, a full pre-approval, the underwriter has seen their documentation. Okay. They said, you have my golden blessing, they are good to go. I was confused. Right. Right. All that things equal, you got okay. two exact the exact same offers, pre-qual and pre-approval, you take the pre-approval all day long. Okay. So it is a concern that they go make application and maybe they didn't tell the loan originator the right information and the loan is rejected. Mm -hmm. And now you have to put your house back on the market six weeks later. Um, if it's the only offer you have, you go with it, but it's not the only offer we have. So okay. we have other choices here. The third offer is um, Escalini Eric's buyer's offer. And he is really offering you 232, but with an escalation clause to go $1,000 higher than the next highest offer. Um, so the highest offer you have right now is Cassie's buyers at 235, so really he's offering you 236. He has a full pre-approval. He is FHA, uh, he's putting down a decent um, down payment, which is 5%, the 11,600. Um, and his buyer's willing to sign the contingency that if it does not appraise, they have the cash, they're qualified for the cash, and they will bring it to the, tan the transaction to close close the deal. Okay. So as long as he's qualified to, to carry the mortgage and it, and he and he is he has the cash and he's willing to do that if it doesn't appraise, uh, it is a pretty solid offer. So now we're talking the cash buyer at 220 versus Eric's offer at 236. So those are really the two differences. Okay. So I have two questions for you very quickly on this because I think I understand most of it. So the FHA and the conventional are both going to require inspection. Which one's going to cause me less grief? Well, they're both going to have a home inspection mm -hmm. and they're both going to have a, a bank appraisal. Okay. Okay, the FHA uh, bank appraisals are typically a little bit more um, uh, geared at safety and health issues uh, because there is not as much of a down payment involved in the mortgage. Okay. Uh, and they just um, are, are just a little bit more critical than the conventional bank appraisal. Okay. Um, and the only other question I had on this whole thing was, can we go back to the cash offer and ask them to come up? Absolutely. These are your options. You can reject all the offers at face value and say, I'm not selling my house. You can pick one of the three and say, I'm just going to give you the offer at what, what you've offered. Or you can reject one and counter two. You can counter all three or you can counter just one. It's really up to you because you're the seller and we have to do what uh, you feel is best for you and your family. Okay. Okay? There's so much to think about. I know. I know. It's a very, very, very stressful time. But it's also a wonderful time because you're selling your house. They seemed... They all have such good options, and I really wanted a family to be in here, but now that I see what else is out there, I'm really going to have to make a hard decision. I know. and you know what, and you have to take care of your family first. I know. So sometimes maybe even though you want to do that, it might not be the right fit for you. Okay. 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 All right. Well, I really thank you for your help. This is crazy, but I don't know. What would you do?